What is up guys, Kevin Cage here with another XRP update. We're going to kick things off on the Bitcoin price chart. I've taken a few days off and actually just got stung by a bee before filming this video. Just a honeybee, but apparently that's a sign of good luck, good fortune, and prosperity. So we're going to be rolling with that. Notice right here on the Bitcoin price chart, guys, we've essentially just been holding support, tapping kind of like a double bottom around this level. We were at about 31,000, 32K last week. In just seven days now, we're climbing back up a good 25% push and did, in fact, go over 41,000. But I want to see us start closing above these levels. All good and great. We just have to wait. Did not mean to rhyme. Now, same thing for XRP on the four hour, just the XRP price chart. We did a massive, massive crash, and we're just kind of gauging this retracement, just like many analysts are expecting. So we're going to see if we can hold this level and finally get that momentum to pop up. Ideally, I'd be watching this RSI. Um, same thing with any other asset for that matter. So Bitcoin did get the push that we were looking for. You can keep an eye on volume if you'd like um, on a variety of exchanges, but just wanted to point that out. All right. Also, guys, this is on alternative.me, and this is the Crypto Fear and Greed Index. Notice, it's getting a bit better now that Bitcoin climbed back up, but a lot of alts are still down massively. Some assets, even some alts that I own, such as uh, microcaps, are down like 80% from their recent all-time high, um, which was literally just in May. So shows you how quickly gains can be wiped away and i think this time that comes around during these retracements many more people are going to be taking profit and interestingly enough i was talking to my buddy jamie xrp in the community i'm sure you guys know him and he brought this to my attention i've just been regurgitating it frankly he goes yeah it's crazy because this crash scared everybody and the next time we retrace or even kind of get back to certain levels people are probably going to take a lot more profit and then the price will probably go higher try to entice them to go in and chase it again and then drop again so again the charts that we look at is literally human psychology mapped so we have to keep an eye on that and it is designed to steal your money now one way to beat it is by simply holding that is how i'm playing this game dollar cost averaging and i know i tweeted this kind of goofing around but i do mean this that the markets if you are investing in assets that you believe in they're either offering you a massive discount or they're offering you profits whether whether it's profits that are quick or profits that take some time, the same outcome for me. So not financial advice. That's the way I see things. And uh, that's the way I've been profitable in this market long term. If anybody's here um, in the past six months and you're not in very, very nice profits, the cure to that is patience. Also, guys, in other news, the Hong Kong Monetary Authority, HKMA, will study the feasibility of a digital currency over the next 12 months. Same narrative. Now, remember who is on stage side by side with them? Well, Brad Garlinghouse, of course, CEO of Ripple, alongside with the C or chief exec of the HKMA, and also with Sama, the Saudi Arabian Monetary Authority, the central bank of Saudi Arabia. I forgot this gentleman's name. Um... Uh, I'm blanking on it, but right here, the Director of Monetary Markets for the International Monetary Fund. We also have Christine Lagarde, formerly of the IMF and now the President of the European Central Bank. They're all speaking at the Swiss National Bank. This is a while back, and this was actually shared by Lionel, or Lionel, excuse me. So just wanted to point this out. I know Alex Cobb has um, documented this back in the day a couple years ago, so you guys can subscribe to him and check out his YouTube channel. But uh, just things that I consider looking forward as we have tons of news with privacy features for the XRP ledger. Now we have, what, federated side chains. You have Flare Networks. You have so many things going, and we do have to pay attention to this. And keep in mind, the XRP ledger has a native DEX, an inherent decentralized exchange built on top of it, and you can actually issue other currencies. And funny enough, this is not just hypothetical. There's other currencies residing on it right now, being able to trade live. So very interesting. All right, so right here, guys, Wrath Economy. So Ripple partner, Rhea, they are a behemoth. So Rhea Money Transfer adds real-time payments through Brazil's PIX, the PIX, this PIX Instant Payments Platform in this partnership with Banco Rendimento. And I do remember that they were one of the first banks, as Rath points out down here, it's one of the first banks to run on RippleNet Cloud. And of course, the RippleNet announcement was back in 2020 of June. So just last year, actually a year exactly, June 15th. So funny timing. And of course, talking about essentially this huge migration. In the last six months, more than 80% of RippleNet uh, clients have opted for cloud deployment. 30% of all RippleNet payments are now being sent or received through RippleNet Cloud. And of course, we know that the pandemic has accelerated these digital efforts, so no surprise. Okay, so right now, Rio Money Transfer, large RippleNet partner, is adding real time payments, meaning that they're looking to start launching payments 24 7, even on holidays. Um, we can watch, you know, Netflix, we can send emails, we can text, we can call, we can send information and data 
on high on holidays and on weekends but we can't really do that for payments yet and it's not settling in real time and i wanted to put it that way because it makes it sound really silly right how our internet of value is not really come through yet and that's exactly where we're at today it seems crazy once everything's done in the coming years we're going to look back and go oh how obvious was that trend that we could have capitalized on and that is literally how society works so um, partnership with Monaco Rendimento. I mean, those are both RippleNet partners, so no surprise. It's not crazy speculation to assume that they'd be leveraging RippleNet, specifically because it's Brazil, and uh, Brazil's been stated to be a key component of their ODL strategy and Delocal, the Central Bank of Brazil working with them last summer. Can't really get more obvious than that. And right here. So Rio Money Transfer, they're a world leader in the cross-border money transfer industry and subsidiary of Euronet Worldwide. Today, they announced the launch of instant payments in Brazil via the country's new PIX real-time payments network. Rio will participate in the PIX network through its partnership with Banco Rendimento and can now facilitate local Brazilian real transfers and payments 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, including weekends and holidays. The simplicity of this new digital infrastructure makes it easier and faster for customers across the country to receive funds instantly at affordable rates and further advances RIA's Brazilian service portfolio. Beautiful. And of course, you know, per other Ripple Insights articles, I mean, it's also helping, you know, other countries throughout Asia, um, such as Malaysia, etc. And going back to this picture, guys, if you subscribe to Community Flare or Flare Community, highly recommend doing so. Keep in mind, he just recently showed a clip of Dilip Rao, formerly at Repl before he retired, and yes, he's an advisor for FlashFX that's building on-demand liquidity corridors for the company Ripple through a variety of countries. Before he's retiring, he has video documentation just showing it in his previous video, and he literally goes on to say, not Flare Community, but Dilip Rao of Ripple, of Global Head of Infrastructure, he literally goes, XRP is being built for wholesale use case, for big money. It's not just SMEs, guys. These are large central banks that are looking at this to have essentially interoperability and liquidity on demand. So this is not small payments, and not everyone is meant to make it to the grand finale. And then, of course, we have Flare Networks that's occurring, going to be live very shortly. And, of course, you can get passive income through rewards pool. You can or through rewards pools on a daily basis, and you can also get daily rewards through delegating your vote. Now, me personally, I think about supporting the ecosystem and kind of, you know, I guess having a voice on YouTube. I'm personally probably going to try to split my votes through a few FTSO providers, whether it's, you know, UK, um, AU, and I, I have to look at US. I'm not sure if their uh, website's ready yet, but just looking and kind of weighing options. I'll probably split it initially, and obviously I'm a capitalist, so I will be essentially putting my money where I can earn the most as well going forward, and we'll see those rates. And also, guys, we have some really good news coming from Unstoppable Domains, part of the Open Payments Coalition with the company Ripple and 100 million plus users across the board. Check this out. We have a little promotion going on. We also have the timer that is set, and this is linked in the top of the video description. If you do not have your own domain yet, or you wanted to take advantage of this promotion to get some credits to maybe surprise some friends. So notice my domain, KevinCage.Crypto, kind of my wallet for a variety of crypto assets, and I'm also going to build a decentralized website with that that's hack-proof and censorship resistance, or resistant, I should say. Um, pretty cool promotion. So this is ending in one day and 19 hours left. So if you spend 50 bucks, you're going to get $150 in credits and be able to buy several domains for people as a gift, which would be pretty cool. And what's next, or what's interesting, is it's not just dot crypto and dot zill domains anymore guys check this out we have 100 million dollar airdrop plus the launch of eight new domain extensions we have dot blockchain dot coin dot x dot dow we have triple eight right there we have dot wallet which will be very exciting even dot bitcoin dot nft you name it so i believe that these are going to be pretty interesting and wanted to spread the word you guys can pay attention to this notice you know even with dot uh, bitcoin they're proud to work with the exchange gemini very very cool dot coin and keep in mind guys yes i like usdc us dollar coin over tether any day of the week i do not hold tether if i were to hold a crypto stable coin for the long term it would be this one usdc notice the future of p2p payments we are proud to be working with circle one of the big fintech firms that i do believe will be going public in the future for all you artists collectors fans out there dot nft domains will be very interesting going forward and for all of you payment pioneers, I think a dot wallet for your new crypto address would be very cool as well. So if you haven't claimed your own domain, guys, this is linked in the top of the video description. And friendly reminder, guys, all of these new domain identities, even these registries, dot crypto, dot blockchain, dot NFT, dot wallets, which will be huge, 
all of these identities will in the future be able to be used universally. So they will be universal usernames that will be able to be used across any platform, meaning any application, website, wallet, whether it's a, a website URL, a payment address, and much more. So take advantage. Next up, guys, we're on Moby. This website is dlt.moby, M-O-B-I. And notice we have Ripple, we have Quants, we have Ocean, we have R3 and some other behemoths of this industry, such as Ford, GM, the World Economic Forum, and a variety of other car manufacturers, and even IBM, um, Hitachi. Let's see, GM already said that. Fetch AI, love this. Um, of course, Cambridge-based, just like uh, Algorand is more so based, of course, MIT. Um, Hyperledger, Honda, you name it. So pay attention to this group. BMW, can't make this stuff up. Um, Accenture, one of the early Ripple investors. Huge, huge, huge. And why am I talking about Moby yet again like I always do? Well, notice this. We have Quantstamp. So they do audits for a variety of blockchains like Hedera Hashgraph and Algorand and even API3 currently. In Moby, the Mobility Open Blockchain Initiative just released new blockchain standards for vehicles. And as far as I know, per their website, you know, Ripple, Quant, they're still listed on Moby right when you come to the homepage. Building the new economy of movement. Blockchain is much more than just payments. Of course, payments will be incorporated, but blockchain is transactions of any kind. And of course, payments is just one little part of that. So I cannot wait to see what is yet to come. And just wanted to point that out. So Quantstamp, they're a member of this DLT Moby initiative, part of the working group that created these standards. So just wanted to point this out. We have a little thread if you want to read this yourselves. Okay. And then even Moby just emphasizing that they're still active with, yep, Quant Network. I don't see Ripple name though. We see Consensus, Accenture. Interesting. But as you go on the website, you can still see everybody's listed right here. Okay. Right there. And notice they even say on Moby's website, Ripple is built upon a distributed open source protocol and supports tokens representing fiat currency, cryptocurrency, commodities, or other units of value, such as frequent flyer miles or mobile minutes. Very, very interesting. And also, guys, to finish up this video, nothing has really changed if you're on Etherscan or any other platform and tool. Whenever these drops happen, even Bitcoin dropping this much, and this happens quite often in the cryptocurrency market, if you guys know, from the highest high that it's ever done, the all-time high, even wick to wick, that was over a 50% drop. And what did we notice across the board? The biggest wallets were accumulating during these dips. They were selling out up here. And now we're in this accumulation phase, accumulating, 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 taking price up. Everybody's probably going to buy back up here. Do not buy high, guys. Do not buy high and sell low. Do not be average. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will catch you in the next one.